Hello and welcome to this session everyone. My name is Yogesh Mehta. In last session, we had talked about how you can create AWS EC2 Windows instance using AWS Management Console. In this session, I am going to demonstrate how you can achieve the same thing using AWS CLI. The AWS command line interface or CLI is a unified tool to manage your AWS services. As a system admin or with my IT background in Linux, I always prefer to use CLI instead of Management Console because CLI is very easy to use. It helps to automate the AWS service builds, configuration and operational documentation is very easy. Uh, in this lab setup, I'm going to create a new Windows 2016 EC2 server using AWS CLI. What are the prerequisites? First prerequisite, you need to have AWS CLI installed and access to Amazon account configured. If you are not sure how you can install AWS CLI and how you can configure access to Amazon account, uh, there is a video which I recorded in the past. Uh, you can refer that video. Let me show you a link quickly. So simply go to YouTube, search AWS CLI Yogesh Mehta, you will get this particular link, which is AWS Cloud CLI installation and configuration. So this video could be sufficient on how to install CLI and how you can configure access to Amazon resources. So once you go to your CLI installed and configured, then first thing you have to do, you have to get uh, your Amazon connectivity check done. So basically you can run AWS EC2 describe region. When you run this command, it is going to contact Amazon APIs to confirm you can connect to them and it will give you output. If you get output, which is not an error output, then you are good. It means you are able to communicate with Amazon. How you can launch instance in uh, command line way? That's very easy. So you can see on screen, uh, I will uh, take you through quickly. AWS is the command which is delivered by AWS CLI. EC2 is a feature like which service you want to use using AWS CLI command. EC2, run instances. This is a switch to create new instances. Options are image ID, which particular AMI you want to use. Count is number of instances you want. Instance type, whether you want to go with T2 X large, M4 instances, C5 instances, whatever your requirement, you can choose that instance type. Which particular key to be used? Uh, I already got keys created, so I'm going to specify which key I want to use. User data, if you want to supply any user data. In which region you want to create a new instance. So here you can put region. Let's say I'm in uh, Sydney. I'm going to select AP Southeast 2, which is Sydney. If you are in the US, you can select that particular appropriate uh, region ID. Security group IDs. Uh, security group is basically, as I mentioned, that's a kind of firewall at Amazon end. Whatever is allowed in that particular firewall, that will be only network access for that particular EC2 instance. So you can select your existing security group. You may be wondering why I'm going to put user data in this time. I haven't used any user data when I created instance using AWS Management Console. Reason being, uh, everything I'm going to do, that is command line. So I just want to demonstrate using command line also, you can set uh, Windows admin password. No need to go to Amazon console again, then select uh, give me password, retrieve password, then it will give you uh, like password, which is basically decrypted password. So instead of doing that, you can set your own password right away. So in simple user data, what whatever your current directory, create a file called user data.txt. In that file, you can mention this PowerShell command. So PowerShell admin, this is the command which is going to change your uh, administrator password and here I'm using switch set password and admin underscore password that whatever you want to put as your password you can put here then close the PowerShell that's it with this one you are going to set your own password but uh, please make sure uh, the password which you are going to put that is going to be temporary password once you log into your Windows instance first time immediately change the password because anyone can see the user data who got access to Amazon uh, console, meaning your organization or in your group. So that's something which I don't feel secure, but I just want to demonstrate different way to set the password. So make sure once instance is created, immediately change the admin password. So guys, uh, let me 
give you a quick demo how we can achieve this okay i am on server where i have already created and configured my amazon access so first thing as i mentioned we will run aws ec2 describe regions command you can run any aws cli command this is simple one that's the reason i thought to demonstrate this one you can see we are getting output from amazon these are the endpoints everything is good so it means we are connected with amazon and our access is working so next thing let's uh, create user data file which i have already created let me quickly show you user data file which i created sorry for typos you can see here this is powershell command and this is the content here i'm setting password for administrator user to first pass so this is going to be my temporary first time password once i created instance i will be changing it immediately so that's it guys so let's create our first instance and i can explain the things to you so aws ec2 run instances dash dash image id is the ami of windows 2016 server count is one it's going to create one t2x large is my instance type key name i'm going to use this particular key pair user data file colon slash slash user data dot txt so this is this was the file which i just uh, explained uh, where we are going to set password which region to use ap southeast 2 security group id use this particular security group you may be wondering from where i go to this ami id from where i got uh, security group id how i know which particular key pair i can use for that uh, you remember previously we created a ec2 instance so i got all information from there because i'm going to create uh, ec2 instance with same settings so you can go to here security groups it is going to tell what security groups you got i'm selecting this one windows app servers this is a security group id because uh, i'm going to use this particular group because it got uh, these inbound rules port 80 and port 3389 which is required in case you want to go with any other security group you can put that security group id other thing which i use they are which particular ami to be used so to know which particular ami you want to use you can click on launch instance it is going to tell all the ami ids so these are the ami ids right now i have selected windows 2016 server this is the ami which i have selected and region is sydney sydney is ap southeast to b so guys uh, these were the settings uh, which i am using in this particular instance creation so let me show you how many instances i got uh, right now right now there is zero running instance and key pair sorry i forgot to mention key pair you can see one key pair here i'm using this key pair even uh, if you don't have key pair in this particular demo you can uh, still survive, survive because i'm going to set admin password using powershell commands so we have zero instance running there are there were two instances both are terminated now i mean no running instance so let's kick off the instance build i'm pressing enter now it will immediately kick off instance but you can see i got uh, output and in this output let me explain what it means so in the output uh, it gave me all the configuration so instance is getting created state is pending basically it is getting created this is the instance id instance id this is the private dns name and definitely it will give, give public ip and public dns name also this is the security group it used this was the security group id and uh, here this is the mac address of uh, that particular card which is uh, allocated to new instance this is the vpc which is using this is the network interface id and uh, here this is the group basically the security group which we are using so guys uh, we got uh, all the required information so let me quickly show you how you can uh, get the details on console you can refresh here you will be able to see okay one new instance is in running state i have selected this okay so this is the public dns name 
one thing i'm not sure whether you have noticed or not this command have not given us the private it gave us private dns name but it never gave us public dns name you may be wondering why because instance creation state is pending so public ip will be allocated when instance starts booting so if i run if i want to get the public ip now using command line no need to go to graphical or management console because we already got our instance id so i can get public ip using command line also so instance id press enter oh it gave her it is saying this particular instance id not exists 203 so let's see whether i have copy pasted properly no oh, instance id was correct okay uh, basically why why this error let me see in which region i am currently so i can run dot slash or aws configure because my region was us west 2 so i have to change ap south east 2 which is my region for sydney okay let's rerun read read this command you can see this time it worked so that's again good for you you got something new how you can troubleshoot the things so this is the public dns name you can see using command line we got public dns name this time last time as i mentioned instance was in creation progress so creation was in progress that's the reason you haven't got public dns name so now we got public dns name and we know what password we set here in user data so let's try to connect to this particular instance so this is my rdp Clicking on connect, connect using different user and putting administrator. And in the password, I'm putting the password which was in the user data. Saying yes here. You can see we logged on. This time we haven't retrieved the password using management console because we set our admin password using user data. So guys this looks good and as i mentioned just change your admin password immediately that's it in this session thanks for watching this video if you have any query any suggestion just leave a comment on my youtube channel thank you guys